Hey guys, what is going on? HDV here, and you already know what time it is. I know I say that every single time, but even more Pokemon Sun and Moon information has come to our screens. They are flourishing us with the powerfulest of information, people. Well, I know this is technically a leak, but you get the idea. We're just getting even more news about the games, which I'm always very happy about. So, uh, obviously, Koro Koro has just leaked all of this new information. And I would just want to be making a quick video over it. Unfortunately for me, they did release it when it was like 6 or 7 in the morning here in the UK. So obviously I was asleep and then I had to get up early. So then I've literally just got back. It's now like quarter to 11 and um, uh, quarter to 12 I mean. And I got back and I was like, oh, hello, Pokemon, what are you doing to me? Anyway, enough of that jibber jabber. Let's just get into the news. So the first one. Um, I'm not really too sure about. I, I mean, hopefully it has some potential. I, I don't know. All I'm looking at right now is a, a sandcastle. Uh, two sandcastles, to be in fact. Uh, to be exact, I mean. The little sandcastle is called Sunabar, I believe, or something like that. Uh, while the big one is called Shiro de Suna. And, I mean, they're looking pretty... Sandcastle, you know what I mean? I mean, one of them, they have spades in. They just, I don't know. Sun and Moon are really just, like, really stepping out into the 4 4, you know what I mean? It's just like, they're just doing anything. They will just make a Pokemon of anything. Um, they're Ghost and Ground type, which, off the top of my head, I don't know. Is there already a type like that? Probably. I don't even know. Most likely. I always say that and then there always seems to be a type of it but ghost and ground is i don't know is it good uh it sounds like it's gonna have a lot of weaknesses does sound like it's gonna have a lot of weaknesses i mean the pokemon doesn't look impressive anyway so i can't see it being really you know your first choice in in competitive battling uh nice picture of pikachu getting quicksand there so that could be a cool little trick to it though the whole quicksand thing but um yeah that's the first two pokemon like I said, not a huge fan of them, but um, I don't even know. I, you know, another interesting um, little, little, nice, you know, breath of, breath of fresh air is Bewares actually got a pre-evolution. Yeah, you heard it here, people, um, and it's looking nice, cute, and cuddly. I didn't think I didn't think that Beware would have a pre-evolution. I thought it was just going to be a single Pokemon, you know, powerful, like the Stantlers, you know, your Tauruses, all of that good stuff. But no, he does have a pre-evolution, which I'm quite happy about. Um, the pre-evolution is called Ni Nuikoguma. They're all in Japanese, obviously, uh, and it is normal fighting type. But I, I do like it. It looks really, really cool. It looks like it's got like that nice, cute factor. It's waving his arms about there. And, um, but yeah, he's looking pretty, pretty nice. Anyway, the next one, which I quite like, is a water type fish called uh, Yawashi, I guess. Is that how you pronounce it? And it appears to have the ability to change its appearance from a single form into a larger fish called its school form. And its school form looks like it's about to tear up everything. Um, I mean, just look at that tail. It's just got like fishes just chilling on its tail. It just looks so evil, like, I don't know how they're going to do it, but it looks like such a cuddly, cute fish, and it just turns into an absolute monster. Like, this thing is just going to tear your limbs off, like, really bad. He looks scary. I would not like to be facing one of them on the other side of the field. Anyway, now we're going into the Alola forms. Um, Alolan Meowth and Alolan Marowak. Is Alolan even a word? I don't know. I kind of think it is. I want to say it is. I'm going with it. You know what? Who cares? So yeah, well first off, we're going with Alolan Meowth, which is a dark type. Um, I, it looks to me like an ice or a steel type, but it's a dark type. Um, whether this means Persian will get one, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, because obviously Execute didn't have one. But, you never know. Fingers crossed, it most likely will. And the second Alolan form is Alolan Marowak, who is fire and ghost. I absolutely love the design for this thing. Look at how the fire is at the end of the clubs. The club, I mean, it's just, I love the colors. It just looks really, really cool. 
It looks thinner, though. I don't know if that's just the way the picture is, but it looks a lot thinner than um, normal Marowak. But um, Fire and Ghost, definitely on my to-do list. And I really like it. As the same with Persian, whether Cubone will, Cubone will get one, we'll have to wait and see. But I don't even know. I just like that. So really, at the end of the day, quite a lot of good information. I just love how Executor like takes up all of that page just because of how big and tall he is. But, uh, but yeah, that is everything for this month's Korokoro Koro League. Uh, let me know what you thought about them in the comment section below. Let me know which Pokemon you like, which you don't like. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.